Hello and welcome to the sixth tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part I'm going to show you how to set up your project um, for multi-resolution support. This tutorial assumes you have a project set up which we covered over the past few tutorials. Though this tutorial is done on a Mac and we tested on iOS, mainly it is relevant, no, I mean, I mean tested on iOS, it is still relevant for iOS, Android, Web, Mac, etc. When you have multiple devices, which you will most likely be targeting because you want to target the maximum number of users as possible so you can get the maximum number of downloads hence earning the maximum number of uh, uh, hence earning the most revenue you don't want to code for every single device as that would almost be impossible so you want to design code that works and adapts nicely on a wider variety of hardware firstly let's take a look at the res folder within our project that we generated by default you get these few, we can all ignore the file icon, that's just for the web and that's just for the logo icon. Uh, if you look at we've got the close normal, close selected and this hello world.png. We're going to delete all these because at the moment what it's doing is it's loading these regardless of the device size and the size for the game isn't changed depending on well the device size. So what we're going to do is copy these three new folders that I've created. One's called large res, one's called medium res, and one is called small res. And in here there's the identical images, but the background, you can do this with the close normal, close selected PNGs as well afterwards, but the hello world has a slightly different size to it and it says big, medium, and small so we can distinguish between the different assets that are loaded this now that we have our resources set up what we need to do is open up our project so we just go back I'm just gonna open it in Xcode and we're testing it in the iOS simulator where again it's relevant for the web Mac Android what have you so what we want to do is go to our main.js remember I said you won't be using the main.js apart from setting up the resolution this is what we're doing now well, what Cocos 2 djs does by default is sets the resolution to 800 by 450 with a resolution policy of show all we'll be still using the resolution policy show all which basically means you'll prevent any borders and you'll zoom in as much as possible it might crop a little bit at the sides, on the left and right or the top and bottom, but that's okay. If you design your backgrounds smart enough, aka design them so the main meat of it is in the center and anything surrounding it can be cut off. If you look at games, that's usually what they do. Uh, Candy Crush is a good example if you can view it on different devices. So what we're going to do is just actually get rid of this. I'm going to create a variable. It's going to be called is landscape. I'm going to put it equal to true and basically you'll be able to change this to true or false depending on whether you want it landscape. Now what we're going to do is check if we are running it on a native device. If cc dot is, I mean sys dot is native. Basically is it a device, is it a Mac, is it an Android phone or tablet? otherwise it will be a web game and now within here I'm going to create something called search path equals to JSB which is a JavaScript binding dot file utils dot get search paths and now what we're going to do is start checking what sort of device we have so if PC dot view dot get frame size dot width is greater than or equal to fifteen thirty six and then cc dot view dot get frame size dot height no not dot hello world in dot height is also greater than or equal to fifteen thirty six aka this is iPad retina sort of resolution and then in here we're just going to do a quick check and 
if true equals landscape basically are we in landscape mode or not to spell the variable name correctly and then inside here I'm going to cc dot view dot set design resolution size and then here I'm going to put 2048 15 1536 cc.resolution hate the IntelliSense for JavaScript binds in Xcode is terrible if anyone knows how to make it better please let me know show all as we mentioned this will zoom in as much as it needs to uh, to prevent any black borders now the next thing that we need to do is just an else statement which was we can just copy this line here and we'll just switch the values because it'll be in portrait mode if landscape is false 1536 2048 and now what we need to do is search plus dot push res for slash large res and now we need to do third pass again dot push and this time it's going to push the source file folder so it knows where to get the JavaScript file files as well for our application and now what we need to do is copy and paste this I'm gonna have it in an else if block now copy and paste this we don't need the comment and this is basically iPhone HD or above and Android high res screens. So now what we need to do is actually modify this and what we are going to do is change these values to 640 change this value to 640 as well we're going to create something called var size then we're going to do if cc dot view dot get frame size dot width equals sorry I mean equals I mean it's greater than or equal to eleven thirty six basically is it wide screen uh, or cc dot view dot get frame size dot dot height greater than or equal to 11.36 then we're going to set the size to 11.36 otherwise we're just going to set it to 9.60 which most likely it will be loading a iPhone so an old iPhone like an iPhone 4 even though they're not targeted as much we're still going to be supporting them and then within here what we're going to do is change this to size Put this as 640, change this to 640, and change this to size. And now in here, I'm going to put medium res. And then finally, the last thing we need to do is an else statement. And what we're going to do in here is oh we will we'll just write it out again. We're gonna do if true equals land is landscape cc dot view dot set design resolution size and for this we're gonna put four 80 by 320 so this is more of the really old iPhones or a really old Android device again this definitely 
isn't supported or, or I should say used that much uh, so for the most part this won't be activated and then we need to put else and then within here we're going to copy and paste this and we can switch the values like we did last time so we change this to 320 Change this to 480. Sorry about that. I was just checking something else. I had a feeling that the recording uh, hadn't started. That would have been annoying. So the next thing we'll do is search paths dot push res for slash small res search path dot push oh, finally we can just push our source and the next thing that we're gonna be doing is let's do to have a look at something oop mm, does that look a okay to me I think it does nope it doesn't that's the issue right there this should be here because uh, I had done an extra bracket accidentally which was my fault nobody else is and what we're going to do is jsb dot file utils dot set search Pass. search path and then we can just close this little if statement then we're going to do an else and this will only trigger if we're on a website and then within this we're going to do if true equals land if landscape and then here we're going to put cc.view dot design set design resolution size and in here we're going to put 1280 by 720 pt dot resolution policy dot show all then we're going to put an else statement Seven twenty by twelve eighty, and what we're going to do is cut and paste this line right here. I was going to put it in this last else statement because resize the browser size. We only want that if we have the game on a browser. Okay, so what we need to do now is update the resources of JS. So if we just open this and to, we need to update so it allows for native and web resources to be loaded it'll work fine for native at the moment as long as the code is all correct but for web we're going to put var folder equals empty quotation marks then in here we're going to put if not cc dot is and then sys dot is native then within here we're going to put folder equals basically this will only be triggered if this is a website so medium res and then here we're going to put folder plus so if it's on a native device like an android device or an iphone then when he when he adds folder to this image path it will add nothing but if it's on a website it will add this because if you notice the main.js we didn't add any search path because these are for the javascript binding and not for the website so what we're going to do now is run our application in the simulator so there you go we have it working and it saves medium because obviously the resource that we have is, a, is of medium I mean the device that we're using or the simulator is of medium size AKA it's that was 11 36 by 640 so both the width and height are both 640 hence it goes into here 
if we load up the three and a half inch it'll do a very similar thing but the size will be 960 so once it zooms in as you can see it doesn't look distorted or anything like that then finally we can show you what it looks like on the iPad iPad again will pop down into this one the medium resolution most of the devices that you'll be triggering will be in, in that one and then finally if you look at iPad Retina now we have iPad Retina and it's picking up the big resource you might think why is this small and that's because I haven't changed it that's a little task for you to do change the maybe replace with different images so there is a different one in each of the folders for small, medium and large. So the only last thing that we're going to do is just try this in our web browser. So I'm going to open up a new window, open up terminal, cd to our project, then cocos run-p web, this is stuff that we've already covered. Okay, failed to load the image. Let's have a look what it's saying. It, I know what, what I've done wrong. If I go to resource.js, I need to put a forward slash there because otherwise it's putting medium res and hello world.png together. Hence, it's trying to pick up a asset called medium res hello world.png. So if I go back to my web browser, refresh. It's picked it up, picked up the right resource, it's medium, zoomed in out, okay, no distortion. And if I resize it, it resizes down very nicely. So yeah, that is it for multi-resolution support. It's definitely an in-depth topic the tough topic, in-depth topic that can't really just be covered in a 15, 20 or 30 minute tutorial. So if you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at adding a sprite. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.